Over a quarter of a million women worldwide lose their lives to cervical cancer every year. Yet simple screening tests could prevent some of these deaths by stopping precancerous cancerous precancerous changes on the cervix border they develop. Now, in the following report, Porsche Gabo explores the methods available to prevent cervical cancer. Every year, about 2,000 women in Ghana lose their lives to cervical cancer, but with vaccination and screening, chances of developing the disease is significantly low. I decided to have my cervix screened at the Planned Parenthood Association of Ghana, there are three different tests available to check one cervix. These include the pap test, which detects abnormal changes in the cervix, the HPV test, which detects the presence of the human papilloma virus infections, and the visual inspection of the cervix with acetic acid. With the options available, I opted for the visual inspection of the cervix, which cost me 30 CDs. With the first line, you see, this is somebody who has not delivered before. This is the service, how it looks like. And then with the second one too, you just see something there. But this is just cervical mucus. And it's very normal to see this on, on a service. And then we have the third one, which is a virus or somebody who has delivered before. This is how the service looks like. But if you look at the third line, you will see that we have applied the solution and you see this whitish lesion here. When it is on the surface, it's not painful. No discharge, nothing. And when we apply the solution, in just a minute, you will see these things. So when you see it, it means that this is a precancerous lesion. Cervical cancer is one of the leading causes of deaths in women. However, women can take control of their lives and prevent cervical cancer. Today, I'm here at the Planned Parenthood Association of Ghana to take one of the preventive steps and to check my health as well. So I'm opting for the visual inspection of the cervix and I've been told that within five minutes, I should be done with the procedure. And I'm hoping it won't be painful as I've heard. During the process, a woman is made to lie down on a leg rest. Afterwards, a sterile speculum is inserted into the vagina and opened to view the cervix. A cotton swab with acetic acid is then used to paint a woman's cervix. If one is prone to cervical cancer, precancerous spots will turn white. Since the results are immediate, the spots can be instantly treated, usually by being frozen off using a technique called chirotherapy. So after five minutes, my test is done and it was a bit uncomfortable, but I'm just glad to have gone through the process. It is not painful, but it's a bit uncomfortable. It is because we will have to use the speculum so that we can get a better view of the cervix. As we did this, there was nothing, although there was some kind of uh, uh, cervical mucus day, but uh, that one there is nothing wrong with it, with the cervix. So with this one, we say that the test is negative. Therefore, she will have to repeat the test in three years' time. So that's what. Thank you. For me. I'm grateful. <laughs> The World Health Organization predicts if nothing is done in the next five years about cervical cancer, Ghana will be in a more dire situation than the present statistics. Women must therefore get screened, get vaccinated and join the fight to advocate for change to prevent cervical cancer. Poshigabo, TV3 News, Accra.